Welcome to the Big Braid Show. I'm your host, Mr. Big Braids, coming to you live from a reservation somewhere, taking a look at BTC and the rest of the market. Coming to you on this Friday night, COVID day number five. Still testing positive. It's just waiting around for that negative, I swear. But here we are back up at that resistance test of that 786 at the 20,084. That's the area we've been checking out. So if we can make it over that 786 or making some moving up towards that 22,694 and get above that 25,230. Definitely could get bullish, decent recovery, start making some movement to the upside. But like I was saying in the, the last few videos, got to keep an eye on that Dow Jones. We got to, like I was saying, we had this widening flag setting up. <laughs> Anything goes. The media was out there, to, you know, talking about rallies to the upside. And here we are. We're definitely going to take that support here. We're coming up to that area that we were talking about where we could possibly start seeing some movement down to the outside. So everybody was calling rally. Everybody was talking about the feds easing back, possibly not gaining that interest rate. <laughs> and then today, after we get this rally to the upside, a lot of buyers coming in, they just throw that news out there about that interest rate hike. Definitely got to get, get more aggressive. It's just, I mean... I, it was just waiting to have. I was I was waiting for the news when it started hitting around here. I was like, you know, Fed's going to launch something out there. So definitely excited to see where we're going right here. There was definitely uh, money to be made. <laughs> so for everybody, I, I hope a lot of you, you buy, did buy a lot of the tops and getting some, you know, decent price action. But, you know, if we do start making some movement over this 34,247, definitely could see some good recovery in the Dow Jones market. You know, definitely excited to see where we're going with that. <laughs> we could get some pullback, possibly get a bounce to the upside. But if we do start losing that price action, just exactly setting up with this scenario here when they started talking about interest rate hikes higher, dippy action and then dippy action again. So we still got two more months to go with the proposed interest rate rate hikes that were supposed to come in November and then in December. So that was the outlook that we were looking for was that dippy action, then another dippy action back down to that retest on that 618 at 25,572. So I'm still out here looking for that scenario as far as the Dow Jones market and getting some rebound back up to the side, possibly some sideways action over time. A lot of people talking about bear market over you know, could possibly be some recession setting up, and you know, I everybody sees that going on out there. Everything's getting expensive. A lot of people getting affected by it. So definitely excited to see where we're going. But if we start making some movement back up to the upside, I'll definitely get excited. But we got BTC coming at twenty thousand seven fifty three. Looks like it gave it a shot, and uh, you know, could possibly be. Giving another try at it again. Let's take a look at it at the 15. See how it looks at the 15. Looks like it's uh, possibly working on making some moves. <laughs> But definitely, definitely uh, could be a big pull trap at that. But, you know, I'm definitely, like I always said, I'm on board and ready to go. But I'm also ready to buy real low. So we definitely got to keep an eye on that year to date. That's why I got the year to date pulled up. So very easy to read as far as uh, <laughs> that long term. Definitely could, could be possibly setting up with this scenario here, this sideways action. Like I was saying, BTC cheap above that 17782 But if we do start losing that price action at 17782 I'm out here lurking for that eight to twelve thousand area. I've been lurking for that since you know quite some time. Wishful thinking, seventeen thousand seven eighty two. That was the area that we've been lurking for for since November. We got that price action. Anything else is just a bonus on that. So, <laughs> and you know, I love sales. So, uh, definitely keeping an eye on that. I uh, just want to do a quick update on the uh, <laughs> on the Friday night show. So, uh, the flavor of the night had to go with that King Louis the eighth it's uh definitely a nice flavor and uh very long lasting i definitely enjoy it <laughs> so and i i've never seen it any place so i was uh definitely uh worth a worth a worth a try so decent flavor and long lasting and that's what i like so <laughs> but definitely keep an eye on that as far as getting some bullish action to the upside we definitely get over that 76 at 20,084 make our way up to that 23,320 
and work on that 37,537. Still going to be more comfortable once we get over this 48,000 area. Uh, once we get over that 48,083, get out of that downward trend, start making some movement to the upside. Definitely would be extremely bullish at that point. So until we get over that 48,083, definitely got to get creative out here. Could possibly get some sideways action over time. And definitely loving that accumulation at this low price bargain price action stocks and crypto definitely awesome across the board so as you look a lot of things getting some love today the sandbox getting some love out there ilcx just under five cents still uh zeal coming at three cents so far it's still underneath that 14 cents mona was getting a little bit of love today abt got some dippy action at the retest in that low price action coming at dollar 56 i'm definitely excited about that sale i seen that capitulation down to the downside and i was all over it so <laughs> well, we got clv coming at eight cents uh jasby coming at 0.0470 let's take a look at that jasby was getting a little bit of love right along with the uh, btc on as far as Working on making some movement up to the upside for once and <laughs> breaking out of a, you know, a little bit of a downward trend that it's had for a bit now. Looks like it's a little bit trying to test that uh, resistance and uh, definitely has to make it over that uh, 0 0.00475. Got that breakout action at 0 0.00496. Got some decent resistance at that 0 0.00053. So definitely going to keep an eye on that. If we do get denied, could possibly see some pullback down to that 618 at uh, 0 0.00447. If we lose that price action, got to keep an eye on that 786 at uh, 0 0.00434. And if we lose that support, definitely going to retest that 0 0.00417 and then it's a how low can you go scenario and a lot of people are definitely excited to see how, how low jasmine can go <laughs> so we've watched it come from you know 99 percent almost way there up there and came all the way down but we all knew that was going to happen if you just you know read the white sheet and they said they were going to distribute it over time which means they were just going to be you know filling it out and the price continued to drop so no, it was in the white paper, so <laughs> and we definitely waited for this little price action. Uh, so sounds sounds like it's working out pretty good. A lot of uh, most of it's getting distributed out there, and uh, I'm definitely excited to see we're going back up to double uh, seventy four, getting some movement out there. We got APE at five ten, uh, MLN twenty four sixty eight. What else was getting some movement out here tonight? Uh, UNFI. <laughs> that was a uh, definite. The good, awesome, oh, and everybody the talk, the talk of the day, tweets all over the place, Doge making some movement. I see some high price targets on that. Uh, I tend to, um, you know, I'm, I, I definitely would I'd throw a little bit on it myself, but you always remember this is not financial advice. <laughs> These are my views and opinions on the market only. And, you always do it's right for you, but you know I love a sale, and that's been some amazing price action over there. We've seen Doge up there, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 cents, you know, and uh, it's, it's, I, I definitely gonna get myself piece of uh, some of that, you know, accumulation. She was been getting some talk across, uh, and then the year that uh, Bone was getting some decent, uh, 16% <laughs> up as well. We got Bone making some movement and check that out. Yeah, that's looking pretty good up there. It's up already almost 17%. Loving that. That's that new Bone Sheba swap that we put up there yesterday. And uh, it's looking good tonight. I, I definitely excited to see where we're going with that. Looks like it's good. You know, I mean, it's minimal volume. But, and, and you can't really get it any, any place. It's like only on a few platforms. So... Uh, you know, if so lucky those for, that are getting the, you know, but always DYO, DYOR, do your own research. Make sure you're getting to something that's, you know, awesome, you know, and uh, worth your time and worth your money and <laughs> it's going to do something. Make sure it's got some, you know, legit to it. But uh, yeah, definitely we got Sundial coming at 229. CGC has just been definitely getting some love over time. And I just love that canopy growth. Definitely got some of that canopy growth. Uh, you know, bought that down at some awesome prices before the, uh, <laughs> you know, before the federal regulations got down there. And I was loving that 226 uh, accumulation on that CGC because it's already up to 315 now, which is, uh, you know, it, it's it, we've seen CGC at $44, you know, high going up to, up to the 60s. And and uh, at these at this price action, uh, I, I'm definitely accumulating as much of that cannabis stock as I can across the 
board. Uh, definitely going to add some more into tomorrow. So uh, we'll see where we're going into the, <laughs> into the next week. So, But I already get into that 10-minute area. So uh, for, the, for everybody and all the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always got to remember this is not financial advice. It's reviews and opinions on the market only. And you always got to do what's right for you. So you also have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good day. Mr. Big Braids is signing out. Thank you.